So for uh, number five, we're shown the graph um, of a force that increases and then remains constant. And then it's asking us how much work is done by that force uh, in moving an object a distance of eight meters. And so um, work is equal to force times distance. Um, and in this case, the force increases in a constant manner. Um, and so this is fairly straightforward to, to calculate. We don't even need calculus for it because if we think of work being force times distance, well, on the x-axis, we have distance, and on the y-axis, we have force. So all we have to do is multiply the base times height to get the total work, right? In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into two parts. So first, we have this rectangle um, that the base is going to be 4, so a distance of 4 meters, and the height is going to be 30 newtons. So 4 meters times 30 newtons. So for the first part, we have um, 30 newtons times 4 meters, and that's going to be 120 joules. And then we have to look at the second part over here. Now, the second part is just a triangle um, whose base is still 4 meters, and the height is also uh, 30 Newtons, but now because it is a triangle, it's not base times height. It's going to be base, so four meters times height, which is thirty newtons times one half, because we do have a um, we do have a triangle, right? And so this is going to give us four times thirty, which is one hundred and twenty times one half, which is sixty joules. And so the total is equal to 120 joules. And so um, this is the work that it takes um, that to have this force move the object uh, 8 meters. And so all we did here was we multiplied force times distance. And because the force um, works, the force is constant in this part over here, and the force increases linearly in this other part, we're able to just calculate it using the area uh, beneath the curve. Um, without using calculus, it's pretty straightforward.